Hello everyone and welcome. So today I'm very excited to get to make this video because I've been really busy in the last two weeks and I haven't had a chance but I've had a little present waiting for me sitting right on the side of my room and today is the day I finally make the video and I get to use it. What's inside you ask? You did ask. You did ask that right. You asked that right. What's inside? What's in the box? Anyways, you see the company name. You may have or may not have seen it on Instagram or Facebook targeted ads. So I do a lot of lot of searching for bags because I do travel a lot and I do like to have stuff to carry my cameras in and my drone and everything when I do go everywhere. So you can never have too many bags. This one looked really, really, really cool. I like the colors, I like the inside. So I know you guys love unboxing videos. So let's crack this bad boy open and take a look inside. Ready? Let's do this. Whoa, that was nice. Exciting, right? So just like all of the ads, this color looks good in person. I'd even say better. And, ooh, look at this. Strap to carry it as a duffel. And removable straps to wear it as a backpack. We hold it up here as well, but who would do that? Maybe in an airport somewhere. But it's pretty big. Look at this, the size of this. It's pretty, pretty sizable, All right? We can fit a lot of clothes in here. And to open up the duffel part, buttons, not Velcro. Ooh, I can already see the inside. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh yeah. There she is. Ah, so mesh. Put stuff inside of here like passport, cologne, deodorant, documents that you may or may not need, contraband, no. Okay. The inside also has another mesh part here. Can you see this? So the inside has another mesh part here. So you can hang whatever you need to inside of that. Pretty spacious. And this one doesn't have a zipper, but on the right side, there's another department mesh as well with a zipper so more secure stuff can go in here more loose stuff that you need to get access to can go here now this inside let's see i can open up more look at that cool right it's an astronaut playing with an octopus. So there you can see the mesh part. So here you can see the mesh part with the zipper. It goes down pretty deep. And then on this side is the side with no zipper. Take a look up there. Zip part for like I said, passport, documents, so on and so forth. And it is pretty deep. Now, they claim that this can hold about a week's worth of clothing. So I travel pretty light. I usually bring about two pairs of pants, a lot of shirts, underwear, toiletries, and so on like that. Camera equipment usually goes in another bag, but I'm quite curious if I can fit all of it in this bag. So. Let's load this bad boy up. Ready? Let's take a look. Okay, let's load her up. So first, got some jeans. I have some camo pants. We might go somewhere warm, so let's grab some shorts. So we're gonna be there for a week, right? So, seven pairs of underwear. Seven pairs of socks. 
Maybe some swim shorts if I'm going to be going swimming. Those are necessary. Some pajamas I can sleep in if the nights are cold. In case it rains, I've got a poncho right here. Again, for some cold weather. Maybe it's gonna be really cold. Can never have enough warmth protection. Infinity scarf. And what if we wanna to go to the beach? Got our handy dandy beach towel. And we have to look cool on the street, so. Tokyo hat goes right there and since I usually travel alone I need something to keep me company this guy all right so when I first started pulling all the clothes out I really thought this was going to be not enough so I kept adding stuff but it fits about right so that's a pretty good amount of stuff, I'd say. Everything you'd need for a week of travel and then some. Plus the essentials. There's more. All right, so let's see what we can fit in the top mesh here. Get that open, so very important. Passport. Need that in there. Um, something I like to do, but when I travel, I like to have different wallets for different currency. Um, if I ever happen to go somewhere, I need to use three different types of currency. My other wallet is on me at all times, and that is weighing down a bit. So let's take out one of those. And in case I go somewhere and they don't have body wash, Got that. I've got shampoo and I've got conditioner. And this looks like everything. Yep, that's that. All right, so on the side, I will fit some deodorant. This is the side with the zipper. Don't want this floating around on the inside. Some cologne. And I believe that's all I have. Oh, we can fit my camera, but no, I'll keep that on me. So that's all I'm going to pack. Let's get all of that closed up. All right, let's get this closed up. There, there, Let's see how all of this weighs, ooh, the design's on the inside too, I like that, nice little touch, and, hmm, not that bad, now to get it on as a backpack. All right, so now that we see that we can fit everything that we need for one week of travel, let's see all the different ways we can carry it. So again, it does have the duffel side. No sane person would walk around carrying it this high, but um, carry it down here. Which the most important part when you're going through the airport, wear it as a backpack. Could show off the company name right there. On this side, nothing there. On this side, company name. And here it feels okay, but wish there was an easier way to adjust the straps. I've got to do it down here. Maybe I just have to get used to it, but uh, I'm sure I'll be okay on any travel adventures. But yeah, it feels pretty comfortable on the back. There's no uh, waist strap for some people like that. Also, there's no shoulder strap to be able to carry it over your shoulder like a true duffel. 
Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But yeah. All I mostly worried is about packing in. There's uh, two grips on the sides. So you can carry it and put it into the overhead compartment on an airplane. If this is the loudest carry on, I'm not really sure. I have to look into that. I'll mention it later. But yeah, so feels pretty good. Now, since I do live in California, we have access to beaches, deserts, mountains, everything. So I need to go travel somewhere to test this bag out to see how durable it is. Because the company Baboon does make some claims that it's waterproof, machete proof. I've seen reviews that say that it doesn't show any wear or tear. So I'm going to have to go outside somewhere far away to go take a little look and how good this bag actually is. So I'm gonna go hop in the car and take a little trip. Let's go check this bag out in the wilderness. stuff is here. You know, everything I need, but I did forget shirts. How am I going to do this without shirts? Am I going to be okay? But you can see this works out here in the wilderness, in the wild, where real men come. So maybe that wasn't so outdoorsy, but you can get an idea. Um, yeah, that was a really good test of how well this does in the outdoors. But I think this is mainly for me for airport travel. So I'm going to load it up with clothes and remember to put my shirts in there. And then go off to the airport and wherever I go, hotel, Airbnb, friend's house, plop it down on the floor and it's never going to see nature. I'm not really a outdoorsy guy, so what can I do? But rain. So California doesn't really rain so much. Well, it hasn't rained since I've been back from Japan, but um, it does rain and this has claims of having waterproof ability. So ability, wow. So they do claim that this is waterproof. So how am I going to test that? when California doesn't really rain. That's going to be a chat. Oh, oh, oh. No, I know where I can go to test this out. Come on, let's go, let's go.
so got to see that the waterproof claims are true. My jacket is waterproof, that I know. So I have to see if the waterproof claims are true. The jacket is, that I'm not worried about, but the bag. Let's make sure it gets all wet. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm making a mess, but uh, gotta do this to make sure you guys know you're making a good purchase, right? So, get over there. Uh, you can see, it's definitely getting wet. Hopefully, my important belongings and uh, documents, my passport, is not destroyed that'd be pretty bad but uh yeah let's just pretend it's raining just getting through just landed in tokyo there's a typhoon my bag's getting wet ran to the taxi got me in time yeah okay this is stupid let's check and see if everything's okay God. Why did I do this? dry besides what I'm uh, dripping on it right now <laughs> but the claims are true it is indeed waterproof yeah it's pretty good it's good to know She handled that well. Not bad at all. Wet, but dry on the inside where it counts. All right, so as you can see, it is waterproof. Nothing on the inside got wet. So for anybody hiking out in the wilderness, and, uh, wow. And, uh, need to stay dry. That's a bag for you, but, um, for me, just going to airports and Airbnbs and hotels and friends' houses, uh, don't really need the waterproof, but of course, from a little bit of torrential rain, I have been caught in typhoons living in Japan, so, uh, definitely it's useful. But, um, about the bag, I love the color. The outside is very, very beautiful. The inside's really cool as well. It can fit a lot. Hopefully, uh, when I actually do travel, I do remember to pack shirts, not just pants and other belongings I don't really need. But yeah, it's a good bag. I really like it. Baboon, it's a 60 liter bag. It could fit a lot. And I um, highly suggest it. Might get another one with the new colors that they just uh, released not too long ago. But uh, just want to have my eye from the beginning. But anyways, hope you liked that. I had fun making it. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I'm counting on you. I'm waiting for you. But if you don't, that's cool. There's a lot of people for you to look out out there. Hopefully you enjoyed your time with me. Anyways, peace. Bye.